So I'm here with Craig Cole from the Australia One Party after the rally against smart cities here at uh, Pioneers Park here in Berwick on June the 17th, 2023. And I was impressed with, it was such a strong suburban turnout. It was, it was great. And uh, the, uh, similar to the one we had in uh, Monbulk uh, in April, the end of April, um, I think people have a lot of detrimental comments about rallies and they, you know, they don't uh, achieve much purpose and by themselves they probably you know probably don't but it's all part of the bigger picture it's all part of you know the rallies the pushing back against the councils in terms of attending meetings and and a whole range of other um, measures that we're implementing and, and the community is implementing to push back against uh, the agenda Localised rallies in communities really have a big benefit um, and the example of that was after the last rally we had in Monbulk, um, the president of the uh, feedback from the president of the Retailers Association down there was that the, the whole talk of that week afterwards of that rally in Monbulk was the local residents talking about the smart cities and wanting to know more information. So hitting local areas with uh, groups of you know a couple of hundred people now we'd like it would have had thousands but uh, i think that was uh, really effective and like i said to the group earlier you know walking up the main street of monbolt looking down the hill or sorry um, berwick looking down the hill and seeing the spectacle and seeing people stop and ask well now what's this about was a great way to to spread awareness to the community about uh, what the real agenda is behind the smart cities for those who may be watching from interstate, Berwick is about 45 minutes to an hour southeast of the Melbourne CBD. And uh, you mentioned in your uh, speech the 15 minute cities, it's called, Plan Melbourne calls it 20 minute neighbourhoods. Yeah. So it's, it's, all, it's all the same. And uh, because of the because of the well the scrutiny that they're getting you mentioned it in your speech they've said oh it's not about constraining you in a in a 20 minute neighborhood so you can't travel out uh, what did Dan Andrews government do in 2020 and 2021 you're yeah, correct I mean the uh, as we know the uh, the lockdowns and the uh, restrictions and the ring of steel and all the rest of it, it was just a trial run was an exercise for the police and the government to, and the conditioning of the public to stay within your 15 minutes. I mean, first it was a 5k restriction, then a 15k, then a 25k, and that's what it was all designed to do. Um, and on the gov when, when government websites that are supposed to be impartial start to list that say on their own website, the planning uh, planningmelbourne.vic.gov.au, when that states that, oh no, this is not about limiting restrictions at all, well, we're starting to get them worried and they're starting to know and it's all due to, to people standing up and pushing back and it's like I said, to achieve a result that you've never achieved before, we've all got to do things that we've never done before and, and everyone here today sacrificed and invested their time in coming along and, you know, and today was a success. Well, when there's mainstream media articles uh, discussing that local councils are, are scared of the, the scrutiny and what is that there? They're trying to hide their, their meetings now, making them yep. virtual. Yep. I mean, that's, you have, yep. you're having an impact. Well, we are having an impact and, uh, you know, you want to take uh, the Yarra Rangers Council as an example and the, uh, the Mayor, Jim Childs, come out and said to the, uh, the good old fake news media, that uh, you know, they shut the meetings down because there were, were threats from the community and the uh, threats of violence and the, uh, the councillors uh, feared for their safety. It's an absolute lie. Oh, yeah. So Mayor Jim Childs, you're a liar, okay? Um, and you now as uh, mentioned to you today, uh, there's been an injunction served on the, uh, the uh, Yarra Rangers Council um, for shutting us out of the meetings and a whole range of other things as well too. So that'll be, uh, um, that's already been lodged with the court. Um, so we'll see how that unfolds there. But now once again, it all comes back to people in the community, um, no matter who you're aligned to. Like I mentioned earlier, it's time to put all your, your petty grievances and your petty issues to the side to really come together as a collective to push back against the Smart Cities agenda. Well, there's also local government elections in yes. Victoria next yeah. year, uh, October 2024. Yeah. So they're... They go uh, local government elections. They they go over over people's radar. Yeah, they but do. 
And but as we're seeing these these past, especially this past year, uh, hopefully that momentum can can go through, and it's actually taken seriously. This serious discussion yeah. about how important it, it is, is to well, monitor your lo what your local council is up yeah. to and who's going to be elected to it. Yeah, and, that, and that's been to our detriment. And it's not a criticism. It's just our, us laid back Aussies, and you know, our oh, local council, local council. And most people have a bit of a, a, a you know a whinge and a grumble about local councils, but they don't do anything. Well, as we know, it's past that time and you've got to stand up and do something. So you know, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge between now and October 20. You know, a lot of things may or may not unfold. Um, but one thing's for sure, we're going to keep steadfast in, in pushing back, having the conversations in the local community. And I, know, I know I sound like a broken record, but the message is pretty simple. Just keep doing what you, you know, you've been doing. Um, and, you know, hopefully by the uh, uh, time the local council elections are held, It'll be a little bit of a different uh, landscape, um, far and wide. Um, now, whether it is or not, is uh, regardless of that, I think people in the, the local community uh, will put their hand up to, or should start thinking about putting their hand up to join the local council or be part of your local council. Because at the moment, local councils, as you know, are far too globalist, left-leaning. And we need to restore that and bring it back to to a balance. So a lot of conservative people need to get active and uh, and have a think about uh, you know nominating to uh, uh, run uh, in your local council elections. Yeah, definitely. And it's not as hard as what it uh, not as hard as what it might appear to be. Well, like I said, I was impressed today I, with the with the turnout. Obviously, more is better, but as a as a local in the city of Casey, now I was impressed, inspired that so many awake locals and I covered We Are Ready in, in yep. Frankston a few weeks back. Yeah. Darren Bergworth yeah, was, yeah, was here today. And they're popping it's, up all over the it's place. It's really impressive. Yeah, because I mean the, the city protests are great but it doesn't reach the wider local community. Okay, so having these small pop-up exactly. runs like I said, it's far more effective and you get you get a couple of hundred people walking through the city, oh well it's not no, no yeah, big that's... deal. But you get a couple of hundred people walking through your local neighbourhood, all of a sudden it's a, it's a they, bit of a not, spectacle. They're not a used, to, used no. to seeing that. No. And so they pay exactly. Attention. When's the last time you would have had a, a protest or a rally walking down the main street of Berwick in your whole time here? Would you ever seen that? No. Mm. So you know this is why it's massively important. They never see anything like this, and then people will start to take us seriously. And you just, don't forget, I mean, we're here for them, trying to alert them of what the real agenda is. But yeah, no, it was a definite success today. Oh, thanks for, for chatting uh, with Mate, the Unshackled, and pleasure. it was great to see you again. Keep up the work you're doing, my friend. I Thank mean, you, you know, you as all well. those independent places, it's great because the fake news media will lie through their teeth. Oh, to you. yeah. But uh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time.